Call the number on the matchbox, obviously. I know who you are. Do I know you? <laughs> it's the devil! Hello everybody, my name is Jared and welcome to Jared Red Gaming. Welcome back to Loretta. We've just killed our husband. Now it's time to clean up the mess. Let's just continue where we left off. We've puked. There's some vomit. Leftovers from yesterday's supper. Mmm. Delicious. How am I supposed to clean the... I just... I just step in it. I'm stepping right in the puke in my in my foot that just had a nail in it. We didn't even wrap it up, I don't think. Reminder of last night. Ah, what a mess. We we should definitely clean it up. We don't want no one to think that we just had a party by ourselves now, do we? Clean it on up. We gotta clean up everything. We gotta get rid of the evidence. This gramophone. Do I like this music? I don't think she does. Turn that shit off. What else? I mean, am I gonna not clean up the vomit? I feel like we need to clean up. I feel like we need to clean up the vomit somehow. We've got a shovel. I should get the shovel out of the way, but I can't shake the feeling that I might need it later. Hmm, almost like it's been predetermined. I ain't ready to go out yet. I need to change out of these clothes. Okay, yeah, you're right. We do need to get out of these, these clothes that have been soaked and probably covered in our own blood oh the jewelry box is gone oh but uh, how am i supposed to guess the number if i don't have it here available to me anymore oh my head and my leg hurts i saw some pills in the bathroom gotta can't take this any longer oh let's go get some pain meds oh we're gonna take them pain meds they're gonna be so good give me those pain meds oh there it is bingo i knew you were in here somewhere mmm they expired a long time ago i mean is there any harm in taking expired painkillers let's take them anyway what does it matter not like this thing can get any worse oh boy i don't know what happens if you take expired painkiller i don't know what kind of painkillers they are i'm sure it's fine okay we need to get out of these clothes gotta take off this dress i'll think about the rest later well okay let's do it then I'm waiting on you, girl. Here we go. Oh, it's daytime now. I didn't realize it was morning. Change. Let's get out of these clothes. Back into our normal clothes. That's better. Now to get rid of this dress. I mean, we're going to throw it down the well as well, right? Are we going to burn it in the fireplace, maybe? Hmm? Ripped up dress? Who the hell could that be? Is that... Oh, it's oh, it's Margaret. Are we gonna kill Margaret too? <laughs> Laura, you look like you've seen better days. What happened? Mind calling out Walter for me? I, I do mind, actually. Oh, he's out back. Don't worry. Why don't you come on in? Oh, she's gonna get it, too. Walter? It's Margaret. You in there? Did something happen? Oh, yes. But don't you worry your little head about it. You'll be joining him shortly. So long, Mark. Are we going for the shovel? We knew! We like the shovels. Our best friend weapon. <laughs> We've got a taste for murder. Oh, dear. We've done it now. We've done it now. Oh, what? what's next? What is this? A letter opener? I don't know. My name is William Henry Carter. I've been this country's sheriff for the last three years. Early in the morning of August 12, 1947, I got a call from the Harris farm. Mrs. Harris claimed that her husband, Mr. Harris, had gone missing. Oh, now we play in the part of the detective sheriff dude oh this is a different guy than the one in the first part i think how's old walter man oh how, <laughs> how old is how old is walter now how is he we just have the bloody shovel sitting there like it's literally behind the sheriff he's 45 and how long have you two been married 16 years has he um the sheriff chokes back the urge to vomit for the sake of decency, Loretta pretends not to notice. Pardon me, has Walter gone missing before? Why is he? Why is he? Does he smell our vomit on the floor that's behind him? No, this will be the first time. Oh, hello. Zoom on in. Hot damn. The hangovers get worse every time. Feels like my head's about to explode. Well, you did throw back two full bottles by yourself. What did you expect? Not one bottle, not one bottle and a half. Two freaking bottles, Bill. Fuck it, you've had it worse. Get your shit together, old boy. Remember what you were taught. Oh, now we're playing the part of him, and we're talking for him. When was the last time you saw Walter? Yesterday morning. I thought he'd gone to the city at first, but the car was still parked by the house. The evening rolls around and he still ain't back, so I called you today. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the dirty shovel with the blood on it. We gonna talk about that? The strange stain. Well, yeah, let's let's talk let's let's talk about this uh let's talk about this dirty shovel. Oh, we gonna do it in our head? Is this blood? You saw a similar stain out in the hall. Someone tried to wash it off, but they didn't do a very good job. It smells mighty strong. So it ain't right, Billy boy. Day's gonna be a long day. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> strange um stain. We're doing like a Sherlock Holmes thing here. We're just noticing everything. What a weird smell and what a shitty place. Everything here giving me that heebie-jeebies. Stay calm, cowboy, and listen to what she has to say. Loretta's standing there, arms folded, staring you down like she was fixing to ask you a question. 
or simply challenge your authority with a catch. Men don't just run away from women like her. Hmm. Got a queer look in her eyes, though. What's on your mind, sweetheart? Was Walter acting suspiciously before his disappearance? Tell me, ma'am. That thing that I just said? Did he do anything unusual? No, sir. Nothing that comes to mind. Do your children live with you? Ain't got no children. Oh, <laughs> no children, I hear. Just the two of them in this big old house. Hmm, shit, feels like my head's about to burst. Pull yourself together, wino. Chicks up to something. Don't take your ass off her. <laughs> Did Walter have any health conditions? Why are you, you trying to imply he's crazy? Well, no, sir, my husband's in his right mind. Was he in the military? Yeah, he was, but he never did like talking about it. Said he spent two years on a boat somewhere out in the Philippines writing propaganda. At least that's my understanding of it. You know, pamphlets about Hitler, Horahito, and the like. I chose not to pry any deeper than that. I see. Study. Must study for the exams. So this is Walter's study. Yeah, he spends most of his day in here. The sheriff sniffs. <laughs> Has anything changed since he went missing? Hard to say. What about family? My family? No man, your husband's. Ah, well, he has a sister over in New York City. Can't say we've ever been all that close. Don't suppose you have her number. I'm afraid I do not. The sheriff's mouth curves into a deep frown. May I ask what happened to your leg? <laughs> oh, would you like something to drink? Let's not change the subject, that'd be way too suspicious. Oh, I just scratched it is all on a nail. It ain't nothing serious. Ouch. You might want to go see a doctor about that. Anyway, ma'am, tetanus is a lot of laughing matter. Lots of folks die from it. I'll get right on that chair. Did Walter take anything with him when he left? Photo, maybe a postcard? Hmm. Do you know if anything's missing from the safe? Oh, no. Walter keeps his manuscripts in there. He didn't take those with him? I ain't sure. I don't know the combination. Hmm. Did Walter keep up any extensive correspondence with anyone? Any that you're aware of, at least. Or maybe someone you just learned of recently. Oh, well, Walter spoke about his publisher, of course. Probably to some other writers as well. And his old war buddies, most likely. Mind if I take a look at that letter? This one? <laughs> Stick the letter opener in his throat. Why do I feel like that's not going to work? Let's try it anyways. <laughs> Dang, we not fast enough. Well, that was a dumb mistake. The sheriff saw it coming clear as day before the beautiful letter opener that Walter had thoughtfully brought back from the Philippines could get anywhere near that drunk's throat. He shot two bullets through the back of my skull. Lee's thought, my last thought right before my brains were smeared across the wall was about how much I hated that awful gaudy wallpaper. And I mean, I hated it. Anyway, the crystal castle has shattered and the sands of time are splitting out. I'm coming, Walter. I'm gonna kill you again. <laughs> Jeez. Let's read them. That's my mail. You've got no right to it, so why don't you let me read them if you don't mind? I'm afraid these are personal. I'd be better if I read them myself. By all means, but do read them carefully. Might offer you some clarity. Oh, we're into the end of this. This is really interesting. Oh, we just got the sickle behind us. Don't worry, Sheriff. Don't you worry about a thing. I'm just going to go out to the wheat field and harvest me some wheat. Definitely not going to kill you. Are you using this barn? That door is creaking up a storm. Hoo wee! Mind if I take a look? No, wait. What in the? Well, I didn't get to choose this. Freeze, lady. <laughs> wait, I can explain. Put your hands up where I can see him. I said, put him up. Oh God! I didn't even have a choice. Get up, Loretta. We've got a lot more work to do. No, please, I can't do it anymore. So that's it. You're done. Palm trees, pina coladas, young tan-skinned boys, all still within your reach. It's the middle of century, after all. Concentration camps, nuclear holocaust, who are they to judge you? It's high time you became a master of your own destiny. Now grow up, get from under their oppressive thumbs, throw off the shackles. Who knows, maybe you'll even write your own memoir someday. The world is your oyster, Loretta. Now come on and get up. Oh, God. Oh, what? What is happening? You look like you've seen better days. What's happened? Mind calling out Walter? Wait, this is where we're starting from? What happened? Maybe we need to make it not so incriminating. Like the bloody um, like the bloody shovel. Maybe we need to not have that laying around so that the sheriff isn't like ready for us. What do you need him for? Walter and I were supposed to see each other today, but he never showed. When he didn't show up, I don't know how to say it, but... If Walter's good at anything, it's leaving women. Wait, you, you know, about you and Walter? You think I'm blind, Margaret? Get off my property. Yeah, we need her out of here. We don't need any more evidence. You know what, Margaret? 
I don't want to see your stupid red face or your cheap dress around here anymore. Huh? What are you, deaf? Laura, or maybe your mama dropped you when you were a baby. How dare you? Walter, what are you in there? Don't bother, whore. He won't hear you. You bitch. The hell you up to? Get off my property, you gosh darn hick. And stay off. Ah, no evidence now. Things didn't go all that well with Margaret. I may have felt a little better in the end, but it was clear that dumb bitch wasn't about to drop the issue. Well, she should have at least kept her distance. For now, anyway. All right, now for the manuscript. I, I, it ought to be in the study, but we don't know the combination, so how are we going to do that? What in the Sam Hill? I heard a sound. Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Uh-oh, that ain't good. How do I get in the kitchen again? Is that a beaten heart? Is that the husband in the well still alive? What's going on in here? It's the poison. Why is the poison sitting here? Hide it, obviously. It leaves a pleasant almond scent. He wasn't lying. We don't need the evidence to be sitting around. Is that it? Are we hiding it in the cupboard? Something downstairs in the basement? We should check the basement. Why is it so dark in here? My foot hurts. Where's that sound coming from? Where's the lamp? It smells wretched as I'll get out down here. Ooh, pipes are making weird noises again. This ain't the first time, but Walter would usually take care of it. Today just ain't my day. Oh, dog. First, the, first my husband then got murdered by me. Now the pipes be making noises. A glass jar. Tag in the jar says, chicory root. It's a decent coffee substitute when you're out of money. How about this portrait? Remove the fabric. Portrait of Walter's mother, Edna covered in dust what about this dead bird why is there a dead bird in the basement a dead bird huh rats must have been having supper mm -mm -mm. unsettling hole and a steel bar i don't know where this hole came from but where it leads but i ain't in any hurry to find out yeah we are get that steel bar give it a whack mm, keep your hands clean though keep your hands clean we're trying to get through this without any evidence we don't want the sheriff to be uh, suspicious. Oh, I don't have a choice. I have to. Never mind. <laughs> Why did they give us a choice if we don't have a choice? Give it a whack. Take that. Shut up, pipes. Quit making noises. <laughs> just having a whack. We're just having our way with the pipes here. Whew. That should do it. Good for us. Job well done. Who needs a man? I ain't need no man. What's going on? What was the zoom in? Relax, Laura. This is just your imagination is all. Okay. Well, now what am I doing? Oh, I gotta go. I need to go figure out that combination. I rarely stepped foot into Walter's study. Everything here just as it was yesterday. Open bottle of bourbon on that old beat up typewriter. Sheets of paper tied with a ribbon lying next to it. Chapters of straw bowl. The rest of the manuscript should be in the safe. An open envelope lay next to it. It's an informal letter of official looking paper certified by a secretary. Dear Mr. Harris, Walter, the bull is positively sensational. Although I do believe we should give the title some consideration, I can say without a shadow of a doubt that this is your best work yet. And I'm only halfway through reading it. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I've already spoke to Thompson at MCM and they want to talk. I'm glad that you are back in business, my friend. Send me the rest as soon as you're ready. The contracts are drafted. There's just a couple of formalities left. P.S. I already ordered the cover designs. You're going to love them. Sincerely, Jerry. Stamp. Gerald Foster Schaefer. Atlantic Press Publishing House. Oh, right. He wasn't lying about the, you know, book being successful. They are waiting. Details have been negotiated, contract signed, they just need a little push was all. I made myself comfortable in the leather desk chair, adjusted the carriage, and began typing. Oh, we gonna, we gonna pretend to be the husband, even though he's supposedly missing. Oh, never mind, we're not. Dear Mr. Schaefer, I regret to inform you that my husband Walter Harris has gone missing. It's possible something may have happened to him, or perhaps he simply ran out on his love-deprived wife. His reasoning is beyond me. I'm writing because you were interested in Walter's last manuscript, Straw Bull. By coincidence, the manuscript currently sits in my possession. The original. There are no copies. Mr. Schaefer, I assume that you are a busy man, so I'll cut to the chase. As far as I know, your company has taken out a life insurance policy on Walter. Due to this extraordinary development, I must ask that you send a check with the amount applicable in the event of his passing if you wish to see this manuscript in its entirety. Despite my disagreements with Walter, I am convinced that readers and fans of his talent should not be deprived of this latest masterpiece. I will send the manuscript the day the check is received, as I understand that it rightfully belongs to you and your firm, which has done so much for our family. Yours faithfully, Loretta Lou Harris. Lick that envelope. All done. Now I just gotta wait. 
damn, we blackmailing them, essentially. The pain in my leg was getting worse, so on my way to the post office, I decided to stop at the gas station again. But something wasn't right. The gas station looked different that day, kind of like something was missing. In that same vein, I was seeing everything in a brand new light. Strange thing murder does to a person that you see the world in a whole new light. Kind of like looking through a cracked microscope glass or something. Although I ain't ever looked through a microscope in my entire life, because I lied about being a scientist. Oh, this is a different dude. Hello? Please don't do that. Make me. <laughs> Please don't do that. I'll do it again and I'll do it again and again. Hey, you're not the same dude. Ma'am, are you the owner here? Yes, ma'am. Where'd the other man go? What other man? The skinny one. You must be mistaken, ma'am. I'm the only one working here. Need some gas, ma'am? Actually, I, have you got any painkillers here? No, ma'am. This ain't no drugstore. Then I'll just take a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> Cheapest you've got. Mmm. Gonna need to put that whiskey on my leg. That would probably do something at least. Are we back to William Carter? We gotta hopefully we can actually get through this without him suspecting us. We still puked on the floor though but everything else should be okay all right we're back in walter's library with the sheriff maybe we can offer him something to drink maybe this time it'll work excuse me ma'am would you like a drink we've got bourbon might even have some whiskey left i know you like to drink sir i could smell it on you no ma'am thank you but i'm still on duty i get the feeling that ain't ever stopped you did walter take anything no nope. photo maybe a postcard hmm do you know if anything's missing i have no idea i don't know i don't know the combination all right he wants to look at the letter I wonder if we could get by with stabbing him, but I don't think so. We're too far away. I feel like I feel like the ultimate goal is to get back outside with the sickle when his back is turned to us. Let's give him the envelope. Here you go. Check it out. The sheriff carefully studies the envelope. You should read them. Might offer you some clarity. To the yard. Let's hopefully he doesn't suspect us. All right, Mrs. Harris. I'll be frank. The chances of us finding Walter. <laughs> How can you make that assumption? It's more likely he'll reappear by himself when he's ready have to admit the sort of thing happens from time to time. Sometimes folks just get a little overwhelmed. They run away from debts, creditors, wives, not realizing they can't ever run away from themselves. But I appreciate your wisdom, Sheriff, but what happens now? I'll get to contacting the local precincts in the meantime. Then the nearest hospitals, the morgue. It's a big country. Your husband could be anywhere. Ma'am, forgive me. I know this is a difficult subject, but I have to ask. Did you and Walt have any fights before he went missing? Hmm. Should we lie to him? Would he know if we were lying to him? Uh, he doesn't need to know our business. I wouldn't say so. Hmm. You know, I think Walter and I might have gone to the same school. Only got one school around here, so it ain't all that surprising. Was there anyone else that he was in contact with around here? Any friends or neighbors? Enemies, even? Someone I could talk to? No, sir. At least not that I'm aware of. Does that thing still work, by the way? What? The well behind you there. Oh, dear. Better than ever. It's never worked. Better. It works like a charm. Mind if I take a look? Oh, please, by all means, go take a look. Sure is dark. Wonder how deep it goes. You know, if you ain't using it, then that'd be grounds for getting fined. <laughs> what? Better ask someone to board. Uh, wait, what's that? Oh shit. Oh, is that a? <laughs> that is. That is definitely a rat. A creepy, scary rat that climbed all the way up the well to get you. Sure is a meaty one. <laughs> Look at that. Trying to climb his way out, big old fat rat. You ain't climbing out of that well. That fella's braver than all get out. Suckers breed faster than rabbits. So I recommend buying some rat poison or something. Probably got yourself a rat nest down there. You got anyone around that can help you, ma'am? I can send the boys to you if you don't. They'll board it up for you in no time. Thank you, Cher. I can handle it myself. Can we, though? All right, well, we made it without the... Oh, is this the perspective of Walter right now? <laughs> we boarded it up. I'll be putting a big old thing on it. Like a manhole cover? Nighty night, Walter. No one will ever see you again. Oh, mind mind if I... Is, is this the therapist again? Mind if I smoke? Go right ahead. This is a mistake, in my opinion. You think so? Life's dealt me a bad hand. That or I just ain't been playing them right. I don't know. Everyone has problems. It's all about how we respond to them. Don't give me that. You shouldn't need to remind you that the war is over. Men shot each other, stabbed each other, killed each other. And for what? Men aren't the only ones who fight in wars. No, but it's the men who's starting them. Have you ever heard of the Chinese ruler Wu Zetan? Should I? There's no such thing as a wrongdoing, Loretta. Only doing. Anyway, how you feeling in general? Honestly, pretty good. We're gonna confirm that now. Please concentrate. What am I concentrating on? What am I doing? Oh, oh, uh, what am I, what, what am I concentrating on? The pipe? <laughs> what am I concentrating on? Like, there's no, what, what am I, um, okay. The blotch. I can't, I can't do the splotch. How about the inkwell? Oh, it's only splotches. Oh, I feel like the world has changed too fast and I don't feel safe. I mean, I don't know what I mean anymore. Let's continue. Let's, oh, a key? Ooh. Was 
that the right one? Some scissors? Oh, happy sounds, which means we're doing the right thing, I think. I don't know. I these are these parts are weird. Don't let what I did fool you. I'm a good person. Well, an ordinary person. I'm sure people love labeling things. Smart folk always have the simple answers. It's so easy to trip yourself up once. Way easier than you think. Easier than a round of gin rummy or getting your hands on a pair of nylon stockings. It's very convenient too. What do you what do you mean by that? Well, it's tempting to commit an unforgivable act, then revel in self-pity making excuses for the rest of your life. Now don't you start with that. Have you ever heard the saying let sleeping dogs lie? I think that's exactly what you chose not to do. I don't know who's talking. <laughs> I'm probably using the wrong accents for the wrong people. On to the package. Oh, oh, more. More, oh, it's just a big old puzzle. This is gonna take a second. And there we go, we completed the picture. It's a happy couple, definitely not murdered. And the phone rang. What were they to do? Operator, call from New York for Mr. Harris. Connect us. Harsh man's voice. You think you can blackmail us, toots? Blackmail? Well, sure, if that's what you want to call it. But since I'm the one who owns the manuscript, I think it'd be more appropriate to call it reimbursement. Or maybe compensation. For the presumed widow of a talented writer. You could even print that on the dust jacket. Where's Harris? Listen here, lady. Nobody messes with Jerry Schaefer. I hung up, but he'll call again. Make no mistake, people like Schaefer never miss an opportunity for profit, even if it means exchanging sweet pleasantries for threats. But that still leaves me with, but that still leaves me with a problem. The combination. I searched the whole damn house for a clue, a note, anything. But it looks like old Walter, old fuddy-duddy Walter, who by supper would always have forgotten what he ate for breakfast or sometimes mixed up his left for right. That same lying bastard Walter only ever kept the combination in that good-for-nothing brain of his. I tried his birthday, a wedding anniversary, his mother's birthday, and even the date of his first birthday publication. Nothing worked. You must have written the combination down somewhere, Walter. You're a writer. You wrote everything down. I will find that combination one way or another. We will check everything. Bookshelf. Crime and punishment. Oh, is this an actual key or is that just a picture of it? Never heard of it. Uh, okay, did we actually... Yeah, there's a key hidden in the book. I ought to open one of the doors in this house. No clue which one, though. Maybe Walter's parents' bedroom. Maybe. Let's keep looking around, though. Walter's desk. A letter from the Kelly? Well, that's the letter. Hey, 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 daddy, daddy, and all that stuff. A letter. We got money. The letter. A letter from Walter's publisher. Okay, so it's just letters that we've already read. And we got a drawer. Let's check it. What's in the drawer? Nothing interesting here. Except for... The Grand... The Grand Koopa? Cigar Club? I ain't never seen one to smoke a cigar. There's an address on it. 11 Rainbow Street. Must be in the city. I could pay a visit when I get the time, of course. I don't have time now. Only time for killing. What's in here? Ticket stubs, scribble papers, a lighter. Racing derby. Horse racing, huh? Only Walter could find a racetrack out in the middle of nowhere. Let's go see where this key leads. Oh, the key from the book fits. Where did we go? I just thought I was leaving. However, heavens to... What's that smell? I gotta open a window or something. It smells like the devil's taint in here. Wilted flowers. The flowers are all dried up. This room hasn't been touched since his parents died or something. It's just moldy and nasty in here. Old newspapers. And some scissors. Discharged man shoots parents. Guggenheim warehouse fire. Ransom paid but child not found. Olson family offer a reward. I remember this case. Someone kidnapped the daughter of some hoity-toity oil tycoon. But we got some, some scissors. Mm, can't wait to cut something with these scissors. Like an old suitcase. I'm gonna open it. We got a camera. Walter and I almost never took pictures. Got some cigarettes. Bottle of rum, one hell of a drink. Mm -mm -mm. And a strange photograph. Take a look, take a closer look, why don't you? A uh, hidden key. This guy I got all kinds of secrets. There's a key here. Looks like the kind he used to open a safety deposit box. But where? Somewhere in the city? What the hell, Walter? What else you hiding from me? That is a good question. The day promised to be eventful, not just because of the secrets of Walter's past. I still needed to open that goddamn safe. But I was plumb out of ideas. I considered throwing it out the window, but there's no way that thing was gonna budge. I won't get that check without the manuscript. Is there some way to just airmail the whole safe to Schaefer? I need to come up with something fast. 
So I decided to head into the city. Oh wow, we got a couple different options. We got the hardware store, we got the address from the matchbox and a bus depot. Well, let's head out to the hardware store. Maybe we get something that can open up a lock or something. Who knows? Room, room, room. Lumber and hardware. Ma'am, I already told you the to open a safe and I mean any safe though I can't say for sure which one you have an old one well old or new you'll need either a very good locksmith or a very good thief precisely and I'm afraid I'm neither all I sell is doorknobs and fasteners ma'am get the hell out of my store and don't ever come back what a waste of time well you don't know until you try let's go check out the address from the matchbox shall we bartender hmm what can I get you Sorry to bother you. I'm looking for a Cooper Cigar Club. Is this the place? What can't you read? Look at this sign, lady. This is a bar. We don't sell cigars here, only drinks. So, what, it's stores back then? They only sold one thing or another? Like, stores sell everything now. So I suggest you either order or take a hike. You have to be so mean to me. I don't deserve this sort of treatment. Cigarette vending machine. I quit smoking a long time ago, though I've been regretting it more and more lately yeah you know murder will do that to you help you develop bad habits again although murder is a pretty bad habit excuse me uh bartender seems like a totally well-adjusted individual i shouldn't bother him if i plan on ordering anything all right well how about this mysterious figure excuse me hmm? don't suppose you know where i can find the cooper cigar club cigar club uh you're looking at it babe but it was shut down a year maybe two years ago all that's left of it now is this shithole. The bartender looks over displeased. Yeah, just insulted his bar right in his face. Where do you think you are? The Ritz or something? The bartender looks away even more displeased. <laughs> Jeez. A year or two? What's a pretty dame like you looking for a cigar club anyway? And don't you know cigar clubs are for men only? <laughs> Here, why don't I buy you a drink instead? Thanks, but I'm in a hurry. Pff, of course you are. Oh, I don't understand. This ain't making any sense. Let me take another look at that matchbox. Hmm, the address is right, but there's no way these matches are two years old. <gasps> hey, there's a phone number on the other side. Was this written in a ballpoint pen? Must be recent then. How the hell did I miss this? I could call the number, but what good would it do if the club really did close a couple of years ago? Maybe that loser got it wrong. I should find a phone. Is there a phone? Mind if I use your phone? <laughs> the bartender sighs heavily. It's out back by the john. Oh, great. That's exactly where a phone should be, next to the toilets. Ew. Smells like piss in here. And Lord knows what else. Oh, my God. Let's just use the phone and get the frick out of here. Call home? Like, who would be at home? Let's call home. It's because I'm curious. No point in doing that. I know there ain't no one. Okay, <laughs> I didn't think so. It was an odd choice of an option. Call the number on the matchbox, obviously. Burz, 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 burz. It's you. I know who you are. You shouldn't have dialed this number. Who are you? Do I know you? <laughs> it's the devil! We'll be seeing each other soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? I guess we go to the bus depot was I don't know where I don't know where else to go. It's the only other location on my map. Oh. If this key really belongs to the bus depot, then it must open one of those lockers, but we've got a drunk in the way. Of course we do. We're gonna have to move this drunk. Tempt him with some booze. Some drunks falling asleep right next to the locker I need to get into. I can't hardly believe my luck. Kick him. Just hey well, okay. Let's 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 not kick him straight off. Let's just hey mister, wake up. The bum gurgles something unintelligible. Well that's just perfect. How do I get rid of him now? He reeks of booze. Maybe a fresh bottle will get him to move. I don't have a fresh bottle, do I? Where am I gonna find a booze? I need to go get some booze from the bar, don't I? And back to the bar. Excuse me, Mr. Bartender, I need some fr I need some booze. A bottle of liquor, please. Cheapest you got. Oh, as the lady finally decided to have some fun. Don't ask. Well, you have a lovely evening. Thank you. I will. Me and a homeless person. I should... Oh, I didn't take the bottle. I just assumed it was instantly put in my inventory. Give me that whiskey. Boy, we're gonna make some homeless bums day, aren't we? Hey, pal. Got a bottle of something you might like. <laughs> Look, just move over, would you? That was easy. Thank God that worked. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was that was much easier. Oh, he's just standing over here creepily in the in the in the behind this pillar now. Ah, that's that's worse. Luggage storage. Oh, some kind of parcel here. I don't get it, Walt. What does it all mean? I shouldn't wait till I get home to open it. Me? Oh God, damn you! Hey, who the hell are you? Then said he unto me, Prophecy unto the wind, prophecy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain, that they may live. Thank you? Why? Let's get the frick out of here. Why is, why is the vagrant 
quoting scripture to me. He doesn't know I'm a murderer. On my way home, I got to thinking. Maybe I just made a mistake. The man on the other end of that wire could have been anyone. An old friend, a comrade in arms, or some other failed rider. It was amazing how after Walter's death, I was starting to learn so much about him. Way more than I would have known of him if he was still alive. Things that were obviously private. Things he didn't want to share with his own wife. Then suddenly... Oh, damn! The engine overheated. Gosh dang, bucket of bolts. Lord, what did I do to deserve this? Yeah, I mean, you murdered your husband. <laughs> so, what kind of question is that? Who am I kidding? You know perfectly well, Loretta. <laughs> so I walked. Good thing the house was only half a mile away. I noticed the luxurious white car right away. Parked by my front porch. I'd never seen a car quite like it. Some old man with a cane was standing next to it. And something deep in my gut told me nothing good was going to come from this meeting. Oh my god. I don't know, it's probably the, the guy that we threatened. <laughs> Alright, before we get to talking to whoever this guy is, I'm going to end the video here, guys. I'm really digging the game. I hope you guys are too. If you are, please leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you guys think, if you're enjoying it as well. Or if you're not, let me know. If you're new to the channel, if you watched this entire video and you didn't watch the first part, maybe go watch the first part, then watch this one again so it all makes sense, and then make sure you subscribe. Loretta would want you to subscribe to my channel, and you don't want to make Loretta angry. <laughs> And as always, thank you so very much for watching. You've been awesome. Let's play again soon, and I'll see you in the next video.